I use Firefox. I think that Firefox is a pretty good browser. However, sometimes I update Firefox and I just think, what are they doing? What were they thinking? And it has happened again very recently. We had this new feature called Firefox View. And inside of Firefox View, there's another feature which is called Colorways. And both of these features make no sense to me whatsoever. I, I think it's they're just a mistake. L let me actually go through them. So firstly, what is Firefox View, if you haven't seen before? Basically, it's a new icon that appeared from one update to the next one to the left of your tabs, like if you had a pinned tab, as an example. Now, if you click on that, the main feature is that it allows you to see the tabs that you have opened in other devices that have the same Firefox account. So if you have on your phone another tab up open, you can see it from your desktop if they share the same Firefox account. Now, here is the first thing. I don't use Firefox accounts. I don't feel like I have to use them. So I personally think that it would make sense to only show this Firefox view thingy if you have Firefox accounts enabled because otherwise this view is kind of useless because it only shows, hey, why don't you install Firefox uh, accounts? And you know, that's advertisement, not a feature. So firstly, I didn't like that. Then there's also underneath it, a list of recently closed pages that I could still get if I just click on history on the top. So not a new feature. And just like this, Firefox view doesn't make any sense to me. Again, only show it if you have a Firefox account, please. Otherwise it makes no sense, but hey, I, I get it. It's advertisement. They're advertising the fact that they have this Firefox account feature and they want you to use it. So they have this page, which doesn't make any sense unless you use Firefox accounts so that you can use Firefox accounts. I don't like the logic, but okay. Inside of this Firefox view, there's this colorways feature, which is again, advertisement because you could access the feature already if I understood this correctly from Firefox 92, so quite a while ago. Uh, <laughs> however, however, apparently not enough people were using it or they needed more advertisement about it, so they added uh, it in this Firefox view. So what is Colorways? It's, it's a color scheme chooser. It's as simple as that, but they, they won't admit it because Firstly, the UI is in extremely weird. Not only do they make you um, choose a color, but depending on the color that you choose, they actually uh, tell you what kind of person you are. <laughs> I cannot stop laughing about this. So I don't know, I choose purple. Then it means that you want to change the world with your determ- What? <laughs> Sorry. And I mean, you, you can check it for yourself. Just update Firefox and then go check these colorways and go check the various colors. They all have very nice graphics about these colors. You can choose, you know, the strength of the strength of the color, which I think is nice, but they have this very weird thing where they try to tell you what kind of person you are depending on your favorite color, which is okay. Okay. Now, then there's the weirdest thing, which is the weirdest thing. Now, if you look at the top of this color scheme chooser dialogue, which in theory should only be about choosing your favorite color for the Firefox UI, that's the whole point. You see that it says expires on the 17th of January. <laughs> and this opens up so many questions. <laughs> and sorry. <laughs> I mean, j just imagine KD Plasma shipping a version with a color scheme chooser that lets you, you know, that tells you this is gonna expire in one month, by the way, or two months. Firefox is doing that. They let you choose the color, but you only have three months to, <laughs> you only have three months to do that. So you better be quick. What's up with that? So I actually try to investigate. And my guess is that it's not true. That is, you will be able to still use colorways after the 17th of January, but apparently they're doing this uh, every TOT uh, releases. Sometimes they bring up these color ways and they update, um, you know, what kind of person you are depending on the color. So they update the descriptions and the UI, and then they launch this thing that you only have a limited uh, time to use it. But why are they doing this? So the justification they gave is pretty funny. They have a web page talking about this and I'm actually going to bring it up because I need to read from it. 
Okay, listen and tell me if this makes any sense. This is limited time release which is intended to embrace the new momentum. We know colors trends are always changing to offer delight and excitement seasonally, so this will be spotlighted for two cycles of releases in Firefox onboarding as limited time play to enjoy the spark more engagement and interest. What? <laughs> what is new? Uh, sorry, it's not new moment, it's now moment. I, I meant now moment. What? <laughs> and you might also ask, why is it called colorways and not just, you know, color scheme chooser or theme? We, we usually call it theme or color scheme. But no, we choose colorways rather than themes to show that we are branching out from our language of browser to speak the language of everyday life and everyday users. This is more this is about more than just installing a new theme, which really doesn't have much meaning to most people. Ooh. <laughs> this is marketing speech. Uh, this is marketing speech. The first thing I thought when, when I saw that uh, colorways were about to expire in uh, 17th of January, I thought, okay, they're going to make this some paid to use uh, functionality because why else would you announce a color scheme chooser that you can only use for three, four months? because you want your users to pay for it. Apparently, no. A apparently, they just think that releasing a color scheme chooser for three months is going to spark more engagement and things. I guess. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Now, let me read just the last thing. Privacy has been part of our, our vision from day one and is always going to be part of what we deliver in our product. Okay, fine. We are making the connection that a safe and joyful internet is a colorful one. And ultimately, we want to connect with these people, with the people, sorry, that make the internet a colorful, colorful place. F Firefox, what are you doing? It really feels like Firefox at this point is just desperate for attention and I get it. They're losing market share year by year. So I guess they are focusing on trying to get the attention back to get uh, people to talk about them, which is what I'm doing. So I did this video. You can thank me Firefox. However, I really think that this is not a way to approach this kind of things. Maybe I'm wrong, but you know, when I update Firefox, and I find a new tab that is Firefox view, which is completely useless. And I get inside of it and I see another feature that doesn't make any sense with Firefox view, but it's just thrown there because it, it, Firefox wanted for it to be seen. And I try it out and I can only use it for three months, even though it's just a theme selector. At this point, I just think that Firefox is making fun of me. What else? I, I felt, I felt made fun of. I'm still going to use Firefox, okay, but I mean, you understand what I'm saying, right?